In this question, we have a parallel plate capacitor, and between the plates of this parallel plate capacitor, there is a dielectric material. The question gives us several bits of information. For instance, we have the dielectric constant given as 2.8. We have the so-called dielectric strength, which is 18 megavolts per meter. It's important to understand that a dielectric strength is simply an electric field. And if the magnitude of the electric field surpasses that value, then the dielectric material breaks down and the circuit basically is destroyed. We have the electric field listed. Because it was given in megavolts per meter, we have to multiply that by 10 to the sixth to get it into the standard unit of volts per meter. So make sure you do that. We also have a capacitance value that has been given as 7 times 10 to the negative 2 microfarads. And because it's given in microfarads, we have to make sure we multiply by 10 to the negative sixth in order to get it into farads. Also, we're going to call the capacitance C prime for reasons that we will explore in just a moment. Finally, we have a potential difference of four kilovolts. Once again, a unit conversion kilo in order to get it into volts needs to be multiplied by 10 to the power of three. So make sure you do that. We have the area as our unknown quantity. Now, on the side, we've taken a few notes. We have the parallel plate capacitor equation, which gives us the capacitance equal to a constant times the area on one of the plates divided by the distance between the plates. It's important to note, however, this equation is good when there is simply air between the two plates of the capacitor. We don't have that situation. We have a material filling the space between the plates. So in that case, you have to take your expression for capacitance and then multiply it by this kappa value. It looks like a letter K. That is the dielectric constant. And that's why we've called the capacitance C prime, because we have a dielectric constant involved in the formula, and that's because there is a material between the plates. Finally, we know from Gauss's law that the potential difference between the plates is equal to the electric field strength between the plates times the distance between them. So this is all the information that we need to get the area in this question. We're basically going to be using this equation in conjunction with this equation, which we might want to rewrite as V equals ED. So what we'll do is solve this V equals ED equation. We'll solve it for the distance. And so we can do that by dividing both sides by the electric field magnitude so that the electric field magnitude cancels out on the right hand side. We see, of course, that V divided by E will give us the value of the distance. And the reason that that's useful is because we can substitute this expression in for the distance of our capacitance equation. So we'll make that substitution right now. We'll have C prime equals kappa epsilon naught times area divided by D, which we are now subbing in for the potential difference divided by the electric field magnitude. Now we want to solve this equation for area. And so perhaps we can do that by first multiplying both sides of the equation by the quantity V over E. And when we do that, they'll cancel out on the right hand side. So now we have VC prime all over E is equal to kappa epsilon times area. And then we can solve for area by multiplying both sides of this equation by one over kappa epsilon naught. Basically, you're dividing both sides by kappa epsilon naught. They'll cancel out on the right-hand side. When you multiply on the left side, multiply your numerator, multiply your denominator. So we can see that the area will be given by Vc prime over kappa epsilon naught times the electric field. And so now it's just a matter of plugging in the known values, which we've listed above. So we'll go ahead and do that now. So all the units have been, or all the values with appropriate units have been plugged in. Make sure you watch your units. And when we punch this into our calculator, we are going to get about 0.63. And then since we calculated area, the unit will be in meters squared. So this is the correct answer to the question.